The following video is a recap of a hop, skip, and jump away hop it community day. Welcome to Lost's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go. Me, Lois Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be doing and covering Hop It Community Day, where I will not only be completing its special research story, a hop, skip, and a jump away, but I will also be hunting for and hopefully I can catch plenty of shiny hoppin in the process. We start a new month in the year 2022 with a new community day and its special research story, which of course is also the name of the title for this video is called A Hop, Skip, and Jump Away. And of course, we start out with step one with the three following tasks. Power up a Pokemon ten times with your reward of 15 Pokeballs. Catch 15 Hop It with your reward of a hop it encounter and make five nice throws with your reward of 20 hop it candies and the total rewards for this step were 2000 stardust a hop it encounter and one lucky egg for step two you had to catch 15 hop it with your reward of 30 hop it candies transfer 10 pokemon with your reward of a skip loom encounter and evolve three hop it with your reward of 15 pineapple berries and the total rewards for this step were 1500 xp a hop it encounter and one incense for step three you had to make three great curveball throws with your reward of 50 hop it candies Evolve one skip loom with your reward of one star piece and transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of 15 great balls. The, the total rewards were 2,500 XP, one rocket radar, and 15 ultra balls. And for the last and final step, you automatically claim two, two silver pineapple berries, a hoppet encounter and 3,500 XP with your total reward of being 3,000 Stardust, a Jump Plus encounter, and two rare candies. And this event also had exclusive field research tasks, which of course were 
catch three Hoppet with your reward of either a Hoppet encounter, five great balls, one golden raspberry, two ultra balls, two pineapple berries, or 500 stardust. Spin five Poke Stops or Gyms with your reward of 600 stardust and walk one kilometer with your reward of either a hop encounter, five great balls, one golden raspberry, two ultra balls, and 500 stardust. And of course, also during this event, if you did spin a gym, you got up to three, I mean five free raid passes to do raids during community day. And of course, it took me a while to get my first shiny during the making of this video, but I was able to do so. And you will see at the end of this video how many shinies I caught for this community day. And I leave you with a newer wave by Kevin McLeod, as I always do for these Pokemon Go Play videos. Well, today it was a good community day, even though I had some technical difficulties during my live stream on Twitch. The final shiny count for this Hoppet community day is 14. Yes, I bought 14 shiny Hoppet. Not bad. I caught even a good shiny Hoppet, which I evolved all the way to Jump Bus. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next episode, which will be about Johto Tour. And this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask, whether it's a surgical mask, or double masking with the with the um, cloth mask on top, a KN95 or N95 mask. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Carry hand sanitizer with you, or use hand sanitizer that's provided to you in public. And most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times together. But we're not out of the woods just yet.